Welcome back into Movement Parallels Life. I'm Kellen Mylad, and these are ground movements for longevity. Today, we're gonna look at a combination movement. We're combining rocking and this tripod position, opposite hand foot balance with the hips hovering off the floor. So this particular sequence of movement is gonna be great for improving your spinal mobility and loosening up your back. This is a great one for developing shoulder strength and stability, and you're also gonna get some good integrated core work out of this one as well. So, all right, let's start out by getting acclimated to this tripod position. And for the record, I'm not in love with that name. Call it whatever you wanna call it. Let's just focus on these key points here. So you're going to have one foot flat on the floor, the other leg fully extended, your hand posted on the ground next to your hips. Now, actively press into the floor and depress your shoulder, pressing in through the sole of the foot. This is gonna get you to lift your hips to clear the ground. Then try to lift your foot, hold that position for five, four, three, two, one, sit. Then we'll switch over to the other side and set up the position, press in, Lift the foot and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower down with control. Awesome. So already you can feel the strength required to hold that. Now we're gonna add a little bit of movement in this next round. Lift into the position and then the action of sinking down into the shoulder and then pushing the floor away. So come into this tripod position. Let's try five of those. Sink in, press one, sink, press. Three, four, five, and hold for five, four, three, two, one, sit. Two deep breaths, switch over to the other side. Lift off, and then we'll sink into the shoulder, press and hold. Sink and press. Two, sink, press. Three, sink, press. Four, last one, drop in, tap the floor. Press away and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, sit. Awesome. All right. All right. Now that you've got a sense of how to create strength and stability within that tripod position, let's add some momentum with the rock up. Make sure the space behind you is clear as you rock back onto your shoulders. Rocking up and into position, planting one foot and the opposite hand. Letting the momentum carry you upward, pressing in and holding for a moment. Sit, rock back, rock up, right into the tripod. One more time this side. Sit and rock back, switch sides. Little pause, sit, rock back, rock up. Tripod hold. Last one. And quick rest. So now we've added in, we've got a baseline set for this pattern right there. Rock up into a tripod hold. Let's explore a few more variations on that next. So from this tripod position, we can pull the straight leg in Come to our foot hand crawl for the switch. Giving us this reversal side to side on the tripod. We add the rock up. Rock back, rock up, tripod. Draw the straight leg in as you rotate towards your support arm. Plant the hand and foot, four points of support for a moment before you rotate. Take a hand away, kick through into that tripod position, sit, rock back. 
rock up the tripod, rotate and switch it, sit, rock back, and repeat. We get just a few more of these. Go at your pace, little pauses. As you find a moment of stability, going from one position to the next. Start off smooth, the speed will come in time. Last one here, kick through. All right, so we'll build on that now. Rock up into the tripod. Now, we'll draw the straight leg back. We get to our lunge. Bring it back through the tripod. Sit. And over on the other side. Tripod. Draw the leg back. Lunge. Sit through. And switch. So now is when you can start to play around. You've got this main concept of the rock up into the tripod, and now you've got some different options for what you do. And that's where you get to have some fun, explore, and find the variations and the stretches that feel best for your body. We'll add in one more today. From this tripod position, we did our switch. We did our lunge. And then now from the lunge, we can step into a wide stance squat. Rock back, rock up, tripod. Draw the straight leg back, but turn the body outward. Plant your foot wide so you've got this strong, stable base in a squat position. When I want to reverse, plant a hand out in front, locked out arm. So I lean into that support arm, same side leg, kicks through. Tripod position, sit, rock back, rock up. And in one smooth motion, coming back to this wide squat stand up. Plant, sit through. Always nice to be able to pause in this tripod position. Last one. There we go. All right, so that is our rock up to tripod. Uh, another element or two elements that can give you some different options for how you move on the ground as a daily practice to take care of your body. So what I want you to do is, you don't have to remember all the things that we did today, but just take one piece, one expression of the movement that felt right for you, that felt natural, that felt doable, and just continue to spend some time with it today. Get on the ground, even just five, 10 minutes of playing around, exploring your movement has a ton of value. And if you wanna keep growing your and movement vocabulary, your ground movement skills, uh, check out the link in the description for my free 10-day ground movement course. Uh, and this is just gonna be a great way to give you a framework for understanding some different movements that you can do on the ground that are gonna help you preserve your mobility, uh, help you just take care of your body so you can stay moving well for as long as possible. All right, thank you so much for coming through to move with me today. Keep on flowing and I'll see you in the next practice.